na mkubali nafasi ya utakuwa vile ulivyo tena amechupatia jamai na ni we mwenyewe uweze kukubalia hivi leo ukisimama na useme kwa kweli Mungu nimeshaelewa haya maneno nimejua kwa kweli hakuna kitu ambacho ningefanya lakini wewe ulinipenda vile nilivyokuwa ulinipenda na umaskini wangu na utajiri wangu ulinipenda na upovu wangu ulinipenda na uchafu wangu na kila kitu ambacho nilikuwa nacho na umwambie Mungu umwambie kutoka kwa moyo wako basi wewe utakuwa umekombolewa Mungu anakupenda sana all he needs you to do is believe in him he wants you to believe in the gospel the gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15:1 through 4 it says moreover brethren i declare unto you the gospel which i preached unto you which you received and wherein you stand and by which also you are saved if you keep in memory what i preached unto you unless you believed in vain for i delivered unto you first that which i also received how that christ died for our sins he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures that is the gospel my friends how jesus died for your sins and he was buried and rose again the third day according to the scriptures all you need to do is believe all you need to do is believe All you need to do is believe. Do you believe that for sure Jesus died for your sins? Do you believe that Jesus loves you? Do you believe that these are the end days? Do you believe? If only you believe you shall be saved because Jesus died for all of us and all that he cares for is us to believe. Put your faith in the finished work of Christ on the cross and you shall never be the same again. You shall be a new creature, a new person. The old will be gone and the new will come. Ndugu zangu dada zangu, Mungu anawapenda. Anawapenda jinsi ambao nyinyi wenyewe hamwezi kujipenda. Hakuna mtu ambaye anaweza jipenda hadi anaweza penda mwingine hadi akatoa uhai wake kwa sababu ya rafiki zake. Lakini Yesu ali, alitupenda sisi hadi akatoa uhai wake kwa sababu ya marafiki zake sisi ambao tulikuwa tumepotea sisi ambao hatukuwa tunajua tunaenda wapi sisi ambao hatukuwa tuna maana tunaelekea jahanamu lakini Mungu alitupenda akajitolea kwa sababu yetu ili yoyote ambaye amaminie asife bali awe na uzima wa milele wewe mwenyewe lazima umwamini lazima umkubali Lazima uelewe ya kuwa Yesu Kristo ndiye mpeana uzima na amekuja hapa kwa sababu yetu. Oh the Lord is good. And those who worship him must worship him in truth and in spirit. And for you to get that spirit, you need to believe. There's no other way that you can be saved. There's no other moment that you'll be living on this earth. There's only this one time. And after you die, judgment. I know many people are saying I still have time to think. I still do have much time to think. I still have time to reconcile with my sins and all that. I have some businesses that I want to go and do. Remember in the days of Noah it was the same thing. Many people now was telling them judgment of God is coming. But many people are buying and selling and cooking and giving in marriage and going to do this and that and nobody care. And I'm sure some were telling Noah, Noah will come, I will join your program. It's not taking so much, I will come. But they didn't have the time when the rain dropped. That was the end of all of them. And the same message is still fresh even today. The Bible is still speaking about the same things which were spoken in the days of Noah, the days of Sodom that we are living in. The days when man has decided to do his own things. The days that man is mixing himself with beasts. I tell you for sure, there's no other time which is so challenging like today. People have decided to do whatever they want. The Bible says in the book of Genesis chapter 6, when the sun, when the 
people in the world began to multiply. And sons of God saw that the daughters of men were beautiful. And they took them wives of all whom they chose. And God saw that the wickedness of man was great in there. Because every imagination of this, these beings which were born, these Nephilims which were born, it was evil continually. And we are seeing a repeat of the same right now. The Bible says, that which has been, it will be also. And there is nothing new under the sun. The same things which are happening in the book of Genesis are happening right now before our very eyes. The same thing is happening right now. And all you need to know is just read the signs. See the signs. And you can tell for sure we're in the last days. We're in the end of time. And if you don't see these things, then you're blind. We are for sure in the days, the end of days. And all you need to do is put your house in order. Because you never know when the Son of Man is going to come. Satan has blinded the eyes of the people that they will never know the truth to be saved. People are busy doing everything. People are busy running up and down, doing all sorts of baseless things, wasting time, running up and down, doing things which do not even make sense. My friends, do not waste your time in baseless things. We are living in borrowed time. These are the last days. There is nothing else that you can do right now than just to believe the gospel wait until when the devil will have taken full control of this world you'll be able to see some of the things that the people who keep on speaking to you that you just wake up and call them conspiracies at the end of the day the bible says do not call conspiracy what they call conspiracy and do not fear what they fear because people satan has created a certain way of making people Never believe anything that the Bible says. God says that we were created by Him. And the people come up and say we evolved from nothing. We are just some monkeys on a ball spinning. For sure, we are God's image created with a purpose. And the Bible tells us this. But the world tells you something different. They want to make sure you feel useless about yourself. But let me tell you, you are fearfully and wonderfully made. God knew you from your mother's womb. Mungu alikujua. We mwenye kabla hata ujijua Mungu alikuwa ashakujua. Alijua siku ya leo utakuwa unapita kwa hii barabara. Alijua kwa kweli utakuwa hapa. Unasikia huu ujumbe ya kwamba siku za mwisho zimefika. Na kwa kweli hatuna muda mrefu. Wakati ambao tunao ni kidogo sana. Now, for Kweli, the next one, two, three years, you will see for yourself. You will see what is going to come upon the world. Terrible times. The hearts of men shall fail. Looking at the things which are about to come upon the earth. So many things are coming, my friends. And where you need to anchor your life is in the blood of Christ. If you know God, you shall know peace. But if you don't know God, then... You shall always be afraid of tomorrow. The economy is crashing. That everything is falling apart. And it's not only Kenya alone. It's everywhere. It's everywhere. It's falling apart. And wait until when the beast comes in. And he comes sprawling on you upon your backyard. Upon your jobs. And he comes drooling upon you. Then you will understand for sure. It was written in the Bible. A day will come. You will not even be able to buy or sell. Without being a member of the beast system. Let me tell you for sure. These things have been written. And it is true. To Kosiku Zamwisho. Kitu naitaji kujua. Ni kuelewa. Na kufungua macho yako. The Bible says the fear of God is the beginning of wisdom. But men despised wisdom. 
And that's why people are falling into depressions. People are falling into trouble. You see somebody who has almost everything, a nice car, a nice family, a nice house, but then they are, they are, they are depressed. They're even doing so terrible things to themselves. Then you ask yourself, if all these people, they have all these things, then why are they even killing themselves? Suicides of so many. Why? Because people are lacking the truth. And the truth is found in Jesus. Because Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. People are looking for the truth in money. People are looking for the truth in pleasure. People are looking for the truth in places where you cannot even imagine. But at the end of the day, the heart of, of man was created for God. And that is the reason why you can never be satisfied in the things that you do. You will run up and down. You will try to buy a new car, a new house, a new thing. But you will never be satisfied. You can never exchange the fuel of a car with water. Because the car was made for fuel. The body of man, man was created for God. You cannot replace him. And that's why you cannot be satisfied. The only satisfaction comes from knowing God. You shall know the truth and it will set you free. You will know the truth and that truth will give you all the freedom. And that truth is Jesus. The Bible says that I am the way, the truth and the life. And no one goes to the Father but by me. Kwa wale wanasema nitafikia Mungu kwa matendo yangu mazuri. Wewe utaishi hapo hapo na matendo yako mazuri. Lakini nikwambie hutaweza kufika mbinguni na matendo mazuri. 